All right, hello, third grade. We are going to keep working on these Christmas light ornaments, uh, not ornaments, the Christmas lights um, that glow. So my 3A friends, this video is for you. You are going to start, but you'll need some scissors today. You will need your glued down a piece of string and you'll need either a pencil or a white um, color pencil or a white crayon, something that we can trace or outline with. So first things first, let's start cutting out our um, light bulbs. Now your light bulb should be complete. You should have all your light bulb colored. You should have your highlight and then the filament inside each light bulb. That was Tuesday's assignment. Or not Tuesday, Monday, I guess. So when you cut, remember you turn the paper, not your scissors. You wanna cut nice and carefully. We don't want this to be really rough or choppy. So you don't need to watch Mrs. Cole cut. But we're gonna talk about this in our live class too. So we'll do some cutting during our live class. Um, so once you get your all of your lights cut out, you're gonna come to your string picture and we're gonna start designing where we want these Christmas lights to live. So it's okay if they hang off a little bit. It's more interesting if they don't hang off. So you want to keep the base of your light bulb kind of hanging on the string so it lifts it up a little bit. So this I like better. It doesn't fall off the paper. This one over here, it kind of goes off the paper too much. So as long as I keep it on the paper, I'll be happy with it. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna figure out how to design all six on this string. And if for some reason you can't fit all six, put your favorite five, okay? Once you get the layout that you like, you're gonna take, I have a white crayon or a white color pencil, you can use your pencil, and we're just gonna outline the light bulb. We're not gonna outline where the socket is. I'm just taking a white crayon. You could use a pencil. I'm just outlining the light bulb. I'm not doing the base, just that light bulb, if you can see that, okay? I'm gonna do that to every single light bulb I have. Then the fun starts. You'll need to get your baggie of chalk pastels out. You should have gotten a bag that kind of looks like this. I sent it home with you that last day. So the thing is, is you're not gonna have every color here. So what you might wanna do is like, you know this is orange, I want my orange to look here. So maybe I'm gonna write on the inside, I'm gonna write orange, okay? And then maybe I'm gonna have another one live over here. But this might be my blue one. And be careful when you outline. Okay. And this is going to be blue. And I want that. So I know what color chalk pastel to get. So I don't have an orange chalk pastel, and I'll tell you why. The orange um, chalk pastels are really hard, and so I think it's easier to use a yellow and then a red. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I have all my things outlined, so you're going to pretend. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to draw a nice thick line of chalk right over where I drew. And I want it thick and I don't want to move the dust. And I want this to be orange, so I'm going to layer some red because yellow and red make orange usually. And I'm going to make it just a really thick layer of dust. Okay? And this one I said was my blue one, so I'm going to dig out some blue. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just kind of drawing on the side. This is a square piece. This is a little messy, so you'll want like a baby wipe, a washcloth, a wet paper towel. You also want to do this somewhere that you don't mind getting a little messy if you're at a table. Okay, so a nice thick line and there's lots of dust. Okay, so you can do this two ways. You can use your fingers or you can use a Kleenex. I'm just gonna go for it and use my fingers. I'm taking one finger and I'm just gonna push out from the edge. So what I'm going for is I'm pulling that dust so it kind of spreads out. And I'm gonna use a different finger because I don't want the, and I'm gonna do the same thing. If you are not getting a really cool movement of your chalk, that means you didn't use enough. 
So you might want to go back. And I'm not rubbing back and forth. I'm just pushing out in one direction to make it glow. Once you have all of them done like that, you'll want to clean your hands. And you'll take your paper and tap it over a garbage can. I'm not over a garbage can, but my table is kind of gross. So then, this is how we finish. We're going to add glue just to the base of the light bulb. And you're going to glue it right on that string and so when we put it down it looks like the light bulbs are glowing this is one of my favorite projects so this takes some time so you're gonna cut out all the stuff we'll do that probably together on live and you'll outline and then you'll come back and do the chalk and the last thing you'll do is glue and you'll need liquid white glue glue stick probably won't work um but try your best so you just glue on that string and then stick it down, count to 10, and voila. And it should pop up a little bit. That's really good. Um, you can glue the base of your light bulb, a little bit of glue underneath it too. That works fine. We don't want to put a lot of glue on our chalk. Um, and that's it. I can't wait to see it. So when you take a picture, take a nice clear picture of all your um, light bulbs and upload this Google Classroom assignment. You have, we're going to work on this both Tuesday or Monday and Wednesday. I see you twice this week and this is a big enough project that this is something we can work on together. So more than likely, and you're going to be doing the cutting out and the outlining. That's going to be Monday. And then on Wednesday, we'll talk about how to do um, adding the glow and finishing up your thing. And that's everything. So this video is kind of telling you two days worth of work that's okay. We'll talk about in our live how to pace yourself. It's a lot at one time. And that's everything. I can't wait to see your faces later this morning. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.